What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Natalia, also known as Chef Rodokova. And today we'll be cooking with you a beautiful summerish, bright and light and delicious salad with uh, raw cauliflower, smoked ricotta cheese, homemade, so stay tuned for that if you don't know how to make ricotta cheese, and uh, a secret dressing with honey. Now we're gonna start with making ricotta cheese. It's actually very easy to make, but it takes a little bit of time. So that's what we're going to do first. To start with, I'm going to pour one liter of homogenized milk into a medium-sized pot and stir in approximately three grams of kosher salt. So that's done. Next, we're going to bring this milk to full boil switch off the heat and add 40 grams of uh, white wine vinegar or apple cider vinegar and wait approximately one minute for the curd to separate from the whey. And the final step for ricotta making, we're going to pass our separated milk through a sieve better fine sieve, and a double cheesecloth. Now that most of the uh, separation is done, and most of the way is here inside the bowl, I'm going to just put it like this and let the rest of the whey come out naturally under the natural weight. Don't put any pressure on it. Just set it up like this and leave it alone for 20 minutes. Put it in the fridge as well. If you want to put it in the fridge, that might be a better setup. Just like this. What about whey, you may ask? Can I use it in my cooking? The answer is simple. Yes, of course, you should absolutely use it in your cooking. Don't throw it away. Uh, it's an amazing ingredient and very underestimated, actually. It has the same dairy flavor as milk, and you can use it in most of the recipes where would you usually use milk. I'm not planning to use it today, however, but I will make sure to show you how to use it in my next videos. Now, curly flour. The advisable methods in all the culinary books for cutting curly flour is just separating it into separate florets and then just baking or roasting or steaming. But we, of course, not going to follow this way. We're going to do it differently. We're going to slice it very, very thinly and we're not going to cook it. We're going to enjoy it raw. Yes, you heard me right, raw. Give it to us raw. Trust me on this, don't ask questions or ask when you try this in the comments below. <laughs> so let's do it. So this is our shaved uh, curly flower. This is how beautiful it looks. Beautiful florets. It's just amazing, I love it. Right now I'm going to put my shaved cauliflower in cold water and put it in the fridge and leave it there until we are ready to assemble our salad. Meanwhile, let's take this time to make our not so secret anymore honey-based dressing. In order to make our dressing, we will need to blend together three teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce, one and a half a teaspoon of Dijon mustard, three tablespoons of honey, about 180 grams of olive oil. And I know I said that I'm not gonna use it, but I've decided to use it <laughs> anyway. Uh, about one tablespoon of our milk whey and a little bit of salt.
that basically is our sauce it goes amazingly well with uh, all kinds of salads it should not technically separate if you did the emulsification correctly slowly adding olive oil in while whisking or blending but if it does just shake it and it's good to go and now it's time for the creative diy section of our video <laughs> so as you know i don't have a smoking gun but i do have wood chips and i do have a torch so now i'm going to improvise and create my own diy smoking machine the chances are it's gonna work but i've never done it before so bear with me follow my steps and let's do it first step take a plastic wrap or a plastic bag but i don't have any so plastic wrap it is put inside the ingredient that you want to smoke in our case it's going to be our ricotta wrap it up like this and if you have a bag it would be much easier but we are not looking for easy ways out we are looking for complicated parts <laughs> put inside a tube and wrap it with the rubber band Next step, I'm going to do the same kind of assembly, but using tin foil and my pre-soaked um, wood chips, and I used Breville apple wood chips. And now I'm going to heat it up. <laughs> Create some smoke from wood chips and transfer it from my foil container to my ricotta cheese. And if you're going to do it at home, please be careful. We are playing with fire here. And that's how smoke ricotta is done. Once you get the smoke going, get it inside the bag, cover it tightly and uh, let it get infused with smoke for about 20 minutes. Finally, it's time to plate our beautiful salad. That's it for today guys i hope you've enjoyed this simple but very elegant dish let me know in the comments below what do you think about this plating did you learn something new today for now though that's it i'll see you in the next video very different but very nice salad it's a nice uh, change mm. 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 imagine <laughs>